What's up, everyone? It is your girl, Jail Beauty 87 here, aka Grace, and I got some new complexion stuff to try out. So I finally got the LYS Beauty No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick. I got the shade Strength Dark, of course, the same as the powder. I meant to bring that with me to put on my face, but the star of the show for me was definitely this Ultra Tint E Doll sorry tint e doll ultra wear care and glow foundation now the weird thing was of the shade range of this like i usually wear 500 w suede in their foundations like in the other one i tried out for you all a while ago this one i went to shade 500 they don't even have a shade 500 if i remember correctly in this one it just skips to 510 but let me double check right now since i'm looking at it but i feel like there was no 500 445 450 455 yeah, see, it just starts at 505, red undertone, and then you have 515, um, warm, sorry, deep with warm, golden undertone, and then I got 510, neutral with yellow undertone. So, that's the one we're going to try out today. This retails for $47. This is what it looks like on the inside. It has an interesting color compared to the other one, I guess. You see what I'm saying? Like, then again, it's frosted and this one isn't, so that could just be it. I don't know. But anyway, let's read the description of this product. So it said, is it an up to 24 hour transfer resistant, healthy looking glow serum foundation with buildable medium coverage and SPF 25. That's a weird number of SPF. Plus hyaluronic and manelic acids to hydrate and smooth skin for a natural looking glow finish. The coverage is medium, the finish is natural, the formulation is liquid. And what else? This is this skincare infused foundation with an 82% hydration hydrating serum base formula delivers a healthy looking glow sorry healthy looking glowing skin finish and natural makeup look it is available in 30 transfer resistant blendable shades this liquid foundation is made for all skin types and is a suitable foundation for sensitive skin so $47 to try this out and now let's read what the stick says um, I'm gonna have to go to LYS's actual page because it was a while ago since I added that to my list I said why LYS no limits cream bronzer and contour stick like I told you I have the shade strength the only shade left is my shade strength and then the deepest shade which is called worthy this retails for $19 and it said it is a clean talc free buildable cream bronzer that visibly sculpts defines and livens up the complexion with a silky smooth blendable formula it has rose hip oil it has green tea extract and it has hyaluronate so a sodium hyaluronic which helps skin remain moist retain moisture and visibly plumps to improve the look of fine lines so what else does it say about this visible sculpt define and warm up your complexion with this cream bronzer stick the creamy buildable formula effortlessly blends while delivering a sun-kissed glow formulated with rose hip oil this bronzer gives skin the warmth you want while blurring the look of imperfections and texture yeah we'll see about that because I, I definitely have both um i'm looking a little oily around the face right now so i'm gonna zoom you in all close i actually have if you're curious what's on my eyes right now i have on the care bears collection from violet boss i used the big palette and the small palette um I am not responsible for this purchase. I'm going to blame Team the Fancy Face for this purchase. If you all see my Instagram post about this late earlier in the week, you'll see I blame Team the Fancy Face for buying both of those palettes because she raved about how wonderful they are. So when they had their 50% off sale on 4th of July, of course I had to buy them. My lips are Lethal Cosmetics. What is the name of this? I think I left it over here. Did I? There's so much stuff over here, girl. I can't. Oh, yeah. It's the shade Airwave. It's one of their cream lipsticks. I'm absolutely loving it. But um, I'm going to go off camera. Um, take all of this off and then we'll come back to do the foundation portion of this video. Okay, girl? Okay. Okay, y'all. So here we are getting into the foundation. So let's put some on. My son is trying to force me to watch a movie with him tonight. So I'm trying to get these two, two videos done so I can, you know. This is still on here. Finish up. For the night, I got this video and then two eyeshadow videos to film so i'm finally finishing the mckayla one like y'all understand i've been doing the mckayla video like all week long so every night when i get off work because this collection is so damn big i have to um film like one part of it so 
So every night when I got off work, I would drive up here, which cost me a whole bunch of gas too, because it's like an hour away from my house and then a whole bunch of time of sleep. So hopefully y'all enjoy that video because y'all don't understand how long it took me to finally get done. You have seen a look with the Michaela and Glam Light palette though on my Instagram. And I told y'all hopefully that video will go up today. So, I mean not today, on um, Saturday. Y'all got the Mothership palette today. I was kind of disappointed in that one though, just cause man. It's okay, I wasn't like, oh my god, yes. Like I was gonna have it for the completion to send me. But it's like, the last three or four pounds, I feel like it looked just the same just about. I mean, he told me it was a little bit better than the other ones, but I'm just kind of like, yeah, mother, it's the same thing over and over again. Ooh, look how nice this looks on the skin. I was scared this color wasn't gonna look right, but the um, 510 neutral is actually looking quite nice on the skin. I didn't ex um, expect the finish to be as nice as it is. I feel like it's a nice set satin um matte type skin like finish and i'm here for it okay means my mirror beauty um what do you call it um refer dupe i see bt beauty is having a sale i don't know when y'all told me about it i ended up getting an email about it because apparently on their email list from when i bought some brushes on mother's day that's how i got the eye brushes i have from them i haven't tried any of their face brushes but that concealer brush everybody keeps raving about i'm like i'm gonna go ahead and get that now and there was a couple of detailed crease brushes that i really um one, so I was like, let me get a couple of those because y'all know I was trying to put like two and three colors in the crease sometimes when it comes to eye look. So I was like, I want to go ahead and have plenty of those brushes. So let's go pat this on in the face and see how it goes. So this is one coat of the foundation all of my, well, two pumps of one coat of the foundation all of my face. As you can see, you can still see the dark spots and the, that on both sides of the cheeks. So it's not full coverage. I say it's high, medium, but I feel like um, if we put some more on, it can be built to full. So we're going to put one more pump on each side of the cheeks to make sure we cover up that hyperpigmentation. Uh, not hyperpigmentation, dark spots. And then we should be good. So I'm literally going to put it on both sides of the cheek. Where I'm still seeing a lot of spots that I don't want to see. But I don't feel like it's sinking into the pores a lot. Which I'm liking because I have large pores and I have oily combination skin. So I'm like concerned about that as well. So... Go ahead and get this done, honey, because I feel like I've been trying to film bits and pieces of videos all week long, and I'm finally, like, at the end to get it done, and you don't understand how excited I am, because, like, that means I can finally edit and get this stuff up, because, like, trying to film every night after I get off work with a big hassle, so I'm like, hopefully in the future I don't have to do that, because I really, really, really was not feeling that at all. And I'm especially not trying to do it when winter comes. Like, no. Drive all the way out here when winter. Y'all might get some videos on my house. Like, you know. Uh, mm -mm. No time talking about winter is still summertime. But I'm not going to just think about that. When all the holiday releases come. So it's like all my stuff that up here at my house. At like beginning of the middle of the week. It's like that time of year. I'm not driving back again just to like, you know. Some of the other stuff I don't have yet. It's going to be like, oh well, we don't have it. So I'm going to take the, um. Concealer from the same brand, the Lime Cone Tinted Dog Concealer. I think I tried this last year. Don't quote me. I feel like I tried this last year. And I'm gonna just save us some time. Coat it all over. I wish I had done my eyes first so I would come back and tell y'all my thoughts on the palette. But here we are, and I'm scared about fallout, so I should have done that, but it's too late now, girl. I really got this all over my face, so I'm gonna do that. You just highlight yeah. I usually do more concealer than the other girls because it's like I gotta cover up all these dark spots with them when I feel like the foundation still isn't giving me what I need. So that's why I bring my concealer out so wide and still do like the triangle things, but I'm trying to cover that up. So that's nothing to do with me not knowing about the trends that's going on. It's just like, you know. I gotta do what's best for me. It's like everybody else doesn't come to their makeup, so that's why I still do the triangle, even though other people don't. Plus, I have lots of dark circles in me for because I'm always tired, because I always feel like I gotta rush and do something. Like, I did not get to sleep hard at all yesterday. Like, I think I slept for like two hours before I had to go with a full eight hour shift, and then came back home, and I had to get up at like 2.45, 3 o'clock. I got up at 12 o'clock to make sure I didn't miss um, a makeup lunch. I forgot which makeup lunch it was, but. I didn't want to miss a lunch. Uh, I think it was an eyeshadow palette. I think I had got the wrong date for the Cosmic Brushes one. I finally got my hands on the Cosmic Brushes one. I think this is like the second 
um, launch of the third launch of the same palette, I finally got my hands on it for this go round. So I'm like, okay, cool. Happy about that. I'm loving what these colors blending in with this um, foundation. If y'all see, like it's giving me a nice light wash, if you will. We're gonna try out the LYS um, cream bronzer as well. So I saw like I might as well just go ahead and conceal it on camera with you all. Then we can um, blend out the bronzer together and then I'll do the rest of my face off camera. Or I might do a little more on camera because I got the um, Jack and Hill bronzer. So I feel like I should go ahead and use that on camera. So we'll see. But I need to bring a um, sponge to sponge in my. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't bring a brush to put on my powder. Because I'm going to use the Kosas powder on my face. So I need to have that. I'm putting a little bit more concealer because y'all know I double conceal. Again, due to the dark circles underneath my eyes and then the fact that I don't get as much sleep as I was hoping for. Or I wish I could get like other people. So I'm going to do a little bit more here on both sides. good now we're going to get into the LYS cream bronzer so it has this shape to it if you will now I honestly think I'm just going to use the tip like then on my nose here because I'm going to use the tip and then the side of my face I think I'll try to do a little bit more than just the tip because I don't want to have a weird shape because I use more of the top than I did the bottom because I can see that happening with a product like this with the way you use it so we're going to use it that way you know I don't think I brought the brush in here that I usually use to do the cream on my um, nose so I'm going to end up having to leave the room anyway because I missed bringing the brush but that's okay because I just told y'all I didn't bring the brush for the Kosas powder so I'm still going to have to go back and get that brush, so I'll go get the brush for between my nose and for the Kosas powder for me to press it into the skin. And then I'll do that type of stuff off camera because we're not testing the um that, we're testing the cream bronzer. I do have a new Jacqueline bronzer here, so I'll probably go ahead and um test that as well. I remember to leave that in the description box because I've already done a wear test on this product to save us some time. I'm just doing the application part now here with you. So. I didn't know which shade of bronze to get. So I, the one that had the red undertone I ended up not buying because I was like, First of all, we sold out on her website. She had a 30% on sale for her um, birth, her 30th birthday. So I ended up buying it from her website because I was like, I don't want to pay regular price for this. Like, at the end of the day, cream bronzer was looking out of rage. And we, everybody asked about cream bronzer and she brought some more powder bronzer. It's like, she already had powder bronzer. So I wasn't too excited about getting it. And I told y'all I was going to rush to get it. It was a product I'd get it was on sale. So I had to find it on sale and that's how I ended up with it. But I wasn't going to, you know, go out of my way to... get it so I'm gonna go on camera now um set all this stuff down then we'll come back and use the Jacqueline bronzer and then set the rest of the face and then I will talk to you all at the end of the day okay girl okay okay so y'all to the bronzer we have finished that in the face this is what it's looking like I set it with the Laura Mercier honey powder and this is what I'm working with as you can see you can definitely see the glow of this glowy foundation but I feel like it doesn't look like too bad and oily I didn't set it with the sponge though I set it with a brush so I don't know if that's what's making a difference but I feel like on camera it looks oilier than it does in real life because it doesn't look nearly as glowy in real life as it does here I got the shade bare babe so that's what I'm working with this was the shade before the shade started getting like super deep and being like you know all red undertone because I'm not huge on the red undertone so this is the color I got. I think it looks pretty nice. It's actually bronzing pretty well. I didn't expect, you know. 
feel like it's kind of emphasizing my pores a little bit though on this side anyway this is a um with the peach and pearl brush set from uh andre renee's collab with them i just thought to use this because it's conveniently located and i was already sitting down and i was like i'm not going back in the bathroom yes was it lazy yes i'll say it it's lazy but here we are so moving on but yeah the color looks pretty nice um i feel like this would probably be a better winter shade for me though than a summer shade it's based upon the shade but it's a nice shade and it's working pretty well i got it to be my um winter shade believe it or not so i have something to leave here to refer to because i actually use the blush and um bronzer duo quite a bit and i have a summer shade and a winter shade in that one when they hit went 50 percent off on um sephora for i think 21 days of beauty or something like that but it's a nice form it's going on smooth so it looks nice i mean yeah I'm not like blown away by it. I'm like, oh my god, it's best thing since sliced bread. Like, it's not bad. It's just not anything that's exceptional. It bronzed me up and looked nice, so that's nice. Moving on. Um, I'm going to take the highlighter now because I figured I should get one of the highlighters too because people were raving about these the last time. I meant to get it when it was on sale because on Morphe they had like 60% off of these, but then they took it away because they were bringing it back with the bronzer collection. So I ended up not getting it in time to get the deal on it, but I still got the 30% off. So I didn't pay regular price and that's what I was concerned with doing. So this is the shade Star Power. I bought the Rose Gold shade because I like Rose Gold highlighters. I feel like, like they rarely come out. So when they do come out, I want to own them. This is Jaclyn Hill, of course, you know, there's like, it's going to have a whole bunch of glow and like extraness to it, as you can see. Let's go ahead and the other side. I didn't pick up that much on the brush, but you see how much is on my face. Like, I lightly um, brushed into this, so this is going to give you a lot of bang and shimmer and pow for your um, buck, because... This is a lot. And I already saw she got another collection coming out with the eyeshadow palette. I'm actually interested in that one though, because I'm like, I want to try the eyeshadow palette and the one that she came out with her mom's like really super boring color story that I wasn't feeling. So I'm like, I'm glad she came out with another one so I can actually try her formula versus like her Morphe formula and that palette to see if there's a difference. Because that's one main concern. It's the only thing is I have the original palette, not like the newer one or whatever. So. This is what the highlighter is looking like. It looks like nice and wet and dewy on the face. Okay, y'all, so I will come back and check in with you all later on tonight, girl, about how this face is holding up. Okay, girl, okay. Okay, y'all, so I have returned after a long day of work and brunching because I went to lunch with one of my friends for her birthday today. So, yeah, there was that, and I haven't had too much for any kind of sleep. But... You're not concerned about that. Let's talk about this foundation and um, bronzer. So I have the LYS bronzer stick on in the shade Strength. And then I have on the Lancome foundation in shade 510 Neutral. I actually matched pretty well. I was surprised about that. Um, and then I have the concealer on in the shade 460 W. With the Lancome Tinky Doll Concealer. So, usually I have not looked at my face at all. I literally smear on this gloss in the bathroom. But wasn't paying attention to my face. I was trying to make sure that I didn't get lipstick all over my face and look crazy. This is the shade Gold from the Lifter Glosses from Maybelline, if you're curious. Um, but I think the skin looks very well, considering this is supposed to be a, you know, glowy product for some of my skin. So, I feel like it wore away a little bit around the mouth. But I have had a mask on for eight hours. So, you know, it makes sense that it would be missing there. I do feel like it's looking oily in my pores as well. And I did use the, um, the Milk Makeup, the, what, the Pore Eclipse Primer. So, I am finding it interesting. I feel like it looks oily in the pore area. But I don't feel like the pores look too badly accentuated. I mean, I don't think they look any more than usually accentuated. And I feel like the foundation held up pretty well overall, y'all. I'm impressed. Okay. As far as the bronzer stick, I knew that was going to be fire. I mean, look how bronze and gorgeous I look today. Um, it's looking amazing as well. I used the Laura Mercier powder, the original powder, the honey one, underneath the eyes and to highlight the face. And then I used that Dior powder with the net in it that I used a while ago in the video to set the rest of my face. So that's what we got going on with the face right now. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed with this foundation. And again, I don't usually like Lancome foundations. I don't know what it is. I feel like they're not that amazing. I kind of want to compare it to my 
Dior Forever Foundation. So let me know if you all are interested in that video. And we can try them side by side and see how that goes. But yeah, um, I'm kind of sort of impressed with the Lancome Foundation. And that doesn't happen to me. So that's a big deal. So I can actually go ahead and declutter this one. Because I'm not a huge fan of it. But you know, I was holding on to it. Because I was like, you know, it's Lancome. I need to have certain things in my collection for video. But I'm really feeling this one. I'm really liking it. So I'm, I'm happy to have it in my collection. I just wish it didn't have such a weird shade range. I know... Stephanie or Babs Beauty here on YouTube was talking about the shade range as well. Like, I usually wear the shade 500W suede. And, like, in this one, I had to get 510. But as you can see, it looks fine on the face. It's just, I don't like the weird, you know, situation when it comes to the shades being off. But as you can see, my face looks fire, all things considered how long I've had this makeup on. So, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all the diamonds. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.